Okay, and then we got Australopithecus so africanus. Now you, can, yeah, now you can make your second um, PowerPoint then, that is Australopithecus africanus and Lorraine. Yeah. Send now, the first fossil was found by, or that was classified as africanus, was found by Raymond Dart. Now, the Wits University had and still has quite a few world-renowned paleontologists, of which Raymond Dart was one. And when he classified this as an Australopithecus, he was mocked. And they said, oh, it's a child, you don't know, it could be an ape, it's not an Australopithecus, etc., etc. Until later, they found uh, a Mrs. Pless, which supported Dart's theory. And Africanus is endemic to South Africa, which means that the origin of this species was South Africa. And the position of the foramen magnum was indicative of permanent bipedalism. The and maybe, next, maybe just yeah. maybe also as evidence, mm -hmm. and they could have laughed, however, but one of the main features that I had to point out is that human like teeth. Mm -hmm. There were not mm -hmm. very large canines there. Ja, en, en die um, Tahunke het so drie tot vier jaar uit ons gaan nou nou weer by hom kom. Hoe kom ja. daar nou net mevrouw Ples net gevinnig? Dit is maar een afkorting wat hulle gegeet vir een wetenskapelike naam wat hulle in daar die stadium gebruik het, wat nie meer vir daar geldig is nie. So maar net dat mense kan weet van wie ons praat. Um, Afrikaners... Jammer om soet net, ja. en, maar wie het somtijds al kyk leerders, al wonder hulle nie, hmm. wat is dit? Want nou Mrs. Ples was weer by Robert, die Robert Broom uitgehaal nie. Ja. En hy was natuurlijk een baie, baie, uh, uh, um, Rustig hoor dit nie, en toe het hy met, met buskruid uitgeskiet, en daarom het hulle dit <laughs> opgevul met een bykie, met een bykie gips daar. Ja. So onthou, het is baie selde volledig geskiet, ja. ons kan ons nou aangaan. Ja, dankie. Oké, okay. ons geniet dit so om hier ja. goed vir julle te vertel. En as ons nou gaan kyk na die vergelijking tussen Afrikaners en Afarensis. Okay, Afrikaners is later species, bigger brain, bigger body, less hair, and that mm, is important. That's very important. Less hair, and then the primitive tools that they started to use, because there's lots of signs of using primitive tools. And this is John Gertie met sy voorstelling van hoe dit kon gelijk het. Hulle kon nog boom klim, maar hulle daarmee rarig so aan die tak gehang nie, dit is ook maar net een voorstelling. Iets sê oor, is net weer die tangkind. Dit is een baie lang story, maar wat hulle gevind het, is dat die tangskedel het merke getoon wat, en as julle kan sien daar die klein stikkie skedel wat daar sit, het merke getoon wat vir professor Lee Berger, en ons gaan later weer van Lee praat, laat dink het. Ek wonder of een van hulle vir ons net kan deurstuur waar hulle gehoor het van professor Lee Berger. Baie interessant. Why is Lee Berger supposed to be known to you? Lee Berger thought because of other skulls that they found of primates, little apes, with signs that these tiny, the, the baby apes, were taken by eagles. En daar kan julle kyk hoe soe arend se klauwe is, julle geweldig sterk en skerp. Daar wees julle van hoe soe arend a klein blau aapie gevang het. Nee, en, en dis omtrend so groot soos wat die drie tot vierjarige kind van die stralopithekus onthou, hulle lichame was baie kleiner as ons. En true as goodness, if you look at a skull, um, you will find... If, uh, um, it was Professor Lee Berger who looked at the Tahung child's skull and found the piercings made by oh. the claws of an eagle. So yes, this Tahung child died because he was taken by an eagle. And you can see how the yeah. eagle has actually tried to eat here. Yeah. Mm. This this that's where the claws actually yeah. pierced by gripping it sort of... Yeah. Uh, um, you know, if you can just give it back sort of the claws in the mm. eye sockets. Mm. My kop is nou heel wat groter, <laughs> maar jylle krij die effect. Nee. Goed. Hoekom sê ons dat Australopithecus ook een homonien is? En hoekom sê ons dat Australopithecus een evolutionaire op, uh, um, element op pad na die genus homo toe was? Quite a few reasons why Australopithecus have features indicating the development of homo. Now it wants that. Mm -hmm. if, you can, if you can just remember, the first Australopithecus had a very small brain, a capacity of only 400 years. You see there's an increase in the capacity of 480 cc. So it has a larger brain. Then, of course, it is 
upright and fully bipedal. And um, this is, of course, indicated by the position of the foramen magnum. You will see that we repeat these things quite a bit. Mm. And um, I hope by the end of this session that you would know it by heart. Human-like teeth, and if we say human-like teeth, it's the enlarged canines that's there. No more, all the teeth are quite in line with one another. And this is evidence of, of not only plants, but also meat as being the, the food type. Because mm. um, why do you think... Why do they, they think scavenged. they scavenged the yeah. meat simply because they didn't have, right in the beginning, didn't have in hunting tools. And so of course they, they were small too. Yeah, they were much they were small. too small to hunt. Yeah, and so they had to steal the meat look from at the, other look hunters. Look at their body capacity. They have 45 yeah, kilos. And that's the adults. Of, yeah. Sexual dimorphism, you could see who was male and who was, was female. female. And uh, still some ape-like features, the long arms, the flat nose, and the protruding jaw. This is a picture of Ron Clark. Um, busy taking a fossil called Littlefoot from his hiding place. And it's also in the vicinity where they found Australopithecus sediba in 2008. And Ron Clark has been working on this for 10 years now. Littlefoot has been removed from his rocky mm -hmm. uh, um, bed, but they are still um, investigating, still studying, so no findings have been made. And no classification yet. Yet. Not yet, but we are waiting.